What's going on, guys? So I got the starter out and I did a little test on it with a battery and um, jumper cables and it did not work at all. So I went out and bought a new one. And just to make sure I did everything right, I'm going to test this one as well. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it back in the Mustang. I'll show you how I get it in there. Um, it was kind of a pain with the rack and pinion that's in there that didn't come with the Mustang. So um, I'll show you guys how I did that. Coming in from the passenger side, come up and through here. And you gotta go in between the oil pan and these lines. I'll look inside there. All the teeth look all right. We were, my brother was curious if the teeth had gotten messed up, but everything looks all right. So I'll throw this in there. happening guys I am doing round two of installing the starter on the uh, 69 Mustang and let me show you kind of what I found out so this is the correct starter and what I found is if you look at it kind of from parallel to the portion that connects um, this, the nose cone, is much taller, and also, this spins fairly freely, well, compared to the other one, backwards. It's hard to turn it this way, but um, I installed the other one, and it, when it started it started fine but when the cog went up it didn't come down quick enough and it would make an awful grinding noise um, on the motor when it started so I brought it back and then we noticed that this that the other one doesn't spin so I'm gonna go ahead and install this one. Oh, also this area around here um, didn't fit completely perfect. So what I found is there's two different, um, there's two different versions of starters for the 351 Windsor and the 69 Mustang. And, um, so this is for the automatic version. So I'll put that in the description below, uh, which one the the model for each one, or I guess the part number for each one. But we'll go ahead and get this one installed. So I'm pretty sure the way to get it in the easiest is to put the portion with the bolt up through first. it the other way. And well you know this one fits in there kind of correctly. Weird how that works. Of course not the right size. She's in. Got that all tightened up. That bolt and that bolt. Pretty easy once you know where it is and how to get it in there. And we'll give it her a start up.
give her a second try just for good measures. I didn't even have to pump the gas at all. Oh, that's nice. Very, very nice. So nice what a working starter will do for you.